Hi, this is Mari Romero with the Romero team at the Military Agency. And thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Today, it is my pleasure to be speaking to Jana Smith. She is the Executive Director with the Phoenix Community Tool Bank. Tell us about yourself, the history of this organization, and about your mission. Absolutely. Thank you first for um, coming today and visiting with us. Um, so I am with the Phoenix Community Tool Bank. We are a new organization to the to the Phoenix area, but we're actually part of a national network. So there are other tool banks open throughout the, the U.S. The tool bank's mission is to to loan tools to other charitable organizations, nonprofits, schools, neighborhood associations, um, government departments to uh, create uh, for mission related impact. Um, so what that means is we have about a 10,000 square foot warehouse full of tools, everything from power tools, circular saws, generators, all the way down to your handheld tools, your more traditional tools, shovels, mm -hmm. rakes, those types of things. Um, and they're available to borrow to our member agencies, uh, which are nonprofits and schools, neighborhood associations, and, and government departments. Um, as I mentioned, we're part of a national network, um, so there are other tool banks open in the U.S. How long has the organization, the national organization, been around? Been around. Um, so we've actually, the, the tool bank concept has been around for about 25 years. It started in Atlanta with the Atlanta Community Tool Bank. And it was actually formed by a group of a couple of churches. So there were folks that said, hey, I have some shovels and I have some, some rakes. Why don't we put all of our stuff together and we'll have more tools available for all of us to use? Mm -hmm. um, and so they created the Atlanta Community Tool Bank. And then in 2008, um, our parent company was actually formed uh, with the goal to replicate um, tool banks throughout the U.S. And so since 2008, they have been supporting cities in starting tool banks. What's very interesting about our uh, our affiliate model is that Tool Bank USA won't open a tool bank in a city that won't support it or doesn't want it. So the first step before they open a tool bank is to find a tool bank advocate in that community. Um, and our advocate started this journey in 2011 with uh, just getting the word out and kind of talking to folks, creating a board first. Um, and then um, incorporating in March of 2013, the Phoenix Community Tool Bank. From there, they uh, spent a couple of months uh, fundraising and to create a, a, to a certain benchmark where they were able to then hire myself, the executive director, and start to look for a space and really start to collect our tools so that we were able to be open for the community. So it's a really kind of important model where we set the, we introduce the community and make sure that there's support and that folks are, um, you know, see the, the potential to borrow tools and would be willing to utilize something like the tool bank before they just go and open a tool bank space. Well, this one's kind of very interesting because I've been, I mean, I've been involved in the community. There's been times that you have these small organizations that have an event for the day and then instead of going out to buy them and then have to deal with storing these things, mm -hmm. they would come to you. And what are the qualifications for an organization to be able to do this? You know, the only qualification that we really have is that the tools be used for charitable intent. Okay. Um, so uh, we won't, uh, we, you know, we're really open to working with organizations, even grassroots organizations that may not have incorporated as a 501c3 yet. If they're out doing good work in the community, we'll, we will work with them to be able to borrow the tools. Jenna, thank you so much for spending time with us and telling us about, telling us about the organization. Can you give us the address, your phone number? hours of operation, if any, and your website address. Absolutely. Um, so our address is uh, 3801 East Illini Street in Phoenix, and we're actually right off the I-10 and 40th Street. So if you drive by on the I-10, you'll actually see our building and sign right next to Tough Shed. So we're really easily um, accessible, both to the East Valley and West Valley mm -hmm. um, organizations. Our phone number is um, 602. 692-2473. Our hours of operation for uh, regular business are Monday through Friday, um, 8 to 5, but we certainly are willing to accommodate organizations that may want to pick up 
um, their tools on a Saturday or Sunday. So although um, as far as when we are here and open, it's a Monday through Friday schedule, but um, there's the ability to work with organizations outside of those time frames as well to, to meet the needs of the community. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Jenna. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions about this organization, or of course, anything relating to real estate, give me a call at 602-252-4191. See you next time and make it a great day.